Hi, welcome to our Challenger Point video. We are the teachers for the GT program at Ken Carroll Middle School, and we want to take this um, chance to let you know about the opportunities that are available to you as potential GT students. I'm Debbie Carroll, and I teach gifted language arts to our mixed 7th and 8th grade classes. It is a unique feature of our program that we mix 7th and 8th grade students together, one that we feel is very valuable for both age groups. And we also loop the curriculum for that reason, um, and that means that kids get 7th grade curriculum one year and the 8th grade curriculum the following year, and then we start all over. Explain to students that the way our program differs from the traditional educational program is that we look at models and theories. We look at the big picture and then we look at the details. For example, in language arts, we learn the parts of speech and how they can change forms from nouns to verbs to adjectives. And we make sure to apply the concepts that we learn into our own writing. Additionally, we learn the terminology of grammar so that when we revise and edit, we understand the reasons that writers make the decisions they make as they write. Another example of how we attempt to show GT students a bigger picture is that um, when we teach persuasive writing, we teach children about appeals to the emotion, which are pathos, appeals to logic, which is logos, and appeals to a sense of right and wrong, which is called ethos as if GT students need more ways to argue. Hello, I'm Karen Carr. I'm the GT math teacher and I teach pre-algebra, algebra, and geometry. And typically these classes are two years ahead of grade level. And it's a very challenging program, but the students do exceptionally well and um, expect daily homework because you have in order for you to be successful in math you have to practice 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 just like baseball. Hi I'm Mr. Jenkins and I teach American history and gifted geography. This year in geography we're going to be focusing on the concept of region. Though we teach the topics from the standard Jeffco curriculum we are able to go into much more depth in the gifted classroom. We complete extensive pre-testing and determine which ideas and concepts students have already mastered and that way we're able to focus on new concepts and to go into more detail on those concepts. Students are able to do things like debate topics, analyze documents, and really look at the documents to determine how people interact with the world. Throughout the year I constantly make adjustments and keep in mind the unique needs of gifted learners and that way we're able to ensure more success in the classroom. My name is Miss Ruby. I am the GT science teacher. I teach life science and physical science um, in alternating years. And my approach is that it is an inquiry-based, hands-on um, curriculum. Students do individual work. We work in groups. They do many projects. We do a lot of experiments. And when we do life science, we do dissection. We also do um, much research. We cover quite a bit of curriculum, definitely everything that's in the CAP document, but we take many things to a deeper level. Thank you. Hi, my name is Denise Grabowski and I'm the counselor for the GT program. We want you to know that our team feels very strongly that we want to meet both the academic and social emotional needs of our students. So I am available to meet individually with the students, to work on issues like um, homework completion, um, academic success, as well as anxiety, social issues, making friends, um, anything really that comes up. And so that's something that's really different about our program. We're also available to meet with parents, and if you need to come in and just talk about what it's like to live with a middle school GT student, um, I certainly am available to do that. Our team provides week, uh, monthly parent workshops that you're invited to come to. Um, what I really like to do is the first month of school is meet with every one of the students to say hello, introduce them to the counseling office, and make sure that they know that they have support available to them. So we look forward to seeing you and welcome to our program. We really, I think we do an awesome job with our kids. 
Hi, my name is Anita, and this is my daughter Kaylee. She went through the GT program here at Cape Carroll Middle School. One of the real benefits of this program and of the teachers that were here is her opportunity to grow in being responsible for the choices that she makes and the natural consequences that come with those choices. The learning environment here was a great environment for debate and discussion at a high level that made her think and also to, to grow in her own knowledge and understanding and to understand where other people's thinking comes from also. Um, I think that GT helped me out because the learning was definitely more hands-on. Like I remember in history, instead of just learning about the Civil War, we actually did like a debate in an election and like focus on like how to prevent the Civil War and like every aspect of it instead of just like reading out of a book and taking notes. The other thing that I really like about GT is that it helped me to learn things that I think I can actually apply in real life. Like I was doing my AP history homework the other night and it was definitely the worst book I've ever read in my entire life and it had sentences that were like six lines long and huge words and I just remembered back to my middle school English and thought just find the subject and the verb and just leave everything else out of there because otherwise there was no way I could have gotten through it. Also I think that GT helps you because you meet so many friends that you had never met any other way. Like. I would never have known them and they actually probably wouldn't have even gone to the same school and it just helps so much like because you have such a community because it's so small like none of the other classes are as close as we are in GT. We're going to talk about one of the stereotypes that kind of comes along with uh, being in the gifted and talented program and uh, one part of that stereotype is that kids tend to think that you think you're better than them and that because you're in the gifted and talented program, you have some sort of elitist uh, mindset where you think that you're smarter than your uh, fellow peers and, and that you deserve something more. And, and really that's not true. I mean, just because you're in this program doesn't mean that you think you're better than anyone. It just, it just means that this is essentially the step you've taken in your life at the point. I mean, it's the way that you're choosing to better yourself. We, like in elementary school, we, we do everything we're told, we do our spelling test, we read our book for tomorrow, and that's it. Then, like, if you skip forward a couple of years, we're in high school, and, like, we, it's very independent. We have to manage our own time, we have to manage our own assignments. So, middle school is pretty crucial uh, for making that transition, and I thought the atmosphere of the GT program was something that accomplished that really well. And so that helped me a lot in my high school career. I'm now a senior in high school, and um, I will actually be going to School of Mines for several classes, Calculus 3 and Differential Equations, and Physics 1 and 2. I've run through all the curriculum in those subjects that my high school has to offer. The work is challenging and captivating. When I got to high school, I felt that I was very well prepared. I didn't struggle at all coming in my freshman year. It was, a, it was phenomenal finding out um, my TAM management skills, my academics, just every aspect possible I was thoroughly prepared for, and it ended up Succeeding so well that me and my best friend who come from this program are first and second in our graduating class in high school. And um, I just, I felt that uh, they built a well-rounded person here. My name is Melissa and everyone in the GT program had to take a test. And to put it simply, I was extremely surprised when I got the results back and I was in the program. The test I thought was easy at first because when you get in, they slowly work you into the program, yes, but that doesn't mean that you're automatically going to just click and get it. You're, you have to actually work to get to where you, where you are at the end of the year. So basically, the program itself, yes, it, keeps, it starts you off at little sixth grader, and then by the, middle, by the end of seventh grade, you've already hit all of the basics an eighth grader should learn. And then when you finally get to where you're about to enter high school, you've already covered into high school level work. So to put it simply, the program itself is amazing. One of the big things that I can see as a parent is when you're looking at different numbers about schools and about their accountability reports and, and different things, different scores, it's huge to make the fit for the child instead of just looking at what the number is because the best school for your child may not be the one that has the numbers 
So it's, it's a good thing to realize what each program does and what each school is about. The GT program has really helped me over the years, and it was really great to be grouped with a bunch of people who were like me in some ways. And it was nice to have teachers who understood like about you and what you like. And the assignments weren't as much busy work or just like, you know, homework. It was really hands-on projects. You got to debate. You really got into the classes. If you wanted to learn about something, the teachers will let you do that instead of just going, here's what you have to do, do it. So it was really great being able to learn more in an environment where it was focused on helping you learn, not as much on getting your test course up. When I put my son in the GT program, I really thought, okay, now he's really going to thrive. He's going to not only survive in school, but thrive. And uh, he did okay for the first few years, but when he got to middle school, we noticed that there was a little more challenge with different classes and different teachers. and. He was still struggling grade-wise, and um, we decided to explore a little further what was going on in that brain of his, and so thanks to the teachers here, um, we were able to go onto some websites and check out different functions of the brain to try to figure out exactly what is it in his brain that processes information, how does it work, and, and how can we best help him to succeed. One of the key reasons that Zach felt more comfortable coming to the program here at Ken Carroll for GT was that the individual needs of every student is really elevated here. The awareness from all of the teachers as well as all the staff. They were very open to any kind of learning styles as well as any kind of conditions. Zach has Tourette's and for him coming out here was a breath of fresh air we were able to bring in to a, um, one of the meetings where all the kids came together and the teachers were all there and we could show a PowerPoint that Zach has developed on Tourette's and what he is and what Tourette's is and that they're separate. Yeah, it, it definitely helped because all of the teachers totally understood, you know, what was, what was going on and that was so refreshing to have you know, not be so incredibly stressed about trying to suppress, you know, these these ticks and and so um, that they would understand. And it was so much easier once I knew that they understood to manage it and get it under control. And it it definitely helped with um, interactions with like friends and stuff because uh, they understood me and they saw you know, me, not the Tourette's. So that, that really helped with that. And, you know, it wasn't as stressing. Um, back in um, elementary school, uh, I was sort of like one of the smarter kids. So, you know, other kids would kind of stay away from me. But um, going into middle school in the GT program, you know, you had all the other kids, who, you know, who were on your, you know, same intellect level who were interested in the things you were interested in and talked about the stuff that you talked about. and. You know, that just really helped me become more social. And I guess now I'd say I'm an extrovert, uh, extrovert opposed to an introvert. I really think that you need, you need that, uh, that stimulation that, you, that the GT program can give you. You kind of need, you need people to really delve into what you're thinking and, and what you're feeling about something instead of just kind of approaching the facts. I mean, you need to have debates and you need to share your thoughts on things. All students are expected to attend school for all days of the established school calendar. Uh, Come on, you get up! She Reasons for excused absences include temporary illness or injury, absence pre-approved by administrator, absence for an extended period due to physical, mental, or emotional disability, or being in the custody of a court of law enforcement authorities. Come on, me, Bob. Makeup work. This is essential that students are absent from school and makeup work, and they miss for each excuse absence. It's your responsibility to get your makeup work done. Immediately! Please! Please! Again. Fine. This is going on your record. What? You have a 15 minute detention after school. This is the second time you've done it. The first time I gave you a warning. 
Now, it's a detention. But... There are no buts. Sit. Hey, you butt. <laughs> This film was directed, produced, and filmed by Debbie Carroll. It was compiled and edited by Simon Zeng. However, it was written by the great thinkers and writers who came before us and are still with us. It is part of their legacy. Welcome to Ken Carroll. <laughs>